Today's video is going to be kind of vlog style, but it's going to be all about how I prepare for exams. I have an exam on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. It is Super Bowl weekend and bachelor's on Monday night, so I'm going to focus mostly on the techniques that I use for studying. It's a hybrid class actually, so it's recitation once a week and then the lectures are online. Yeah, I'm just going to give you guys some tips and walk you guys through what I do to study, show you guys me studying, everything like that up until my exam on Tuesday night. So one thing that I think really helps me when I have exams, I'm going to be busy and everything, is to stock up on groceries. So I just bought groceries, a lot of healthy stuff, and to try to cook meals in advance a little bit. So I just got back from the gym and I made my dinner already, even though it's lunchtime. Obviously made lunch too, so I'll show you guys. I can eat lunch, body shower really quick, and then I'm going to go to Starbucks and study a lot. So knowing that like, I have dinner ready, I can just be more productive later when I get back from Starbucks, eat dinner, and then keep studying more. Since I know tomorrow I'm going to be busy at night with the Super Bowl parties and stuff. Um, for dinner, I just have shrimp, mushrooms, onions, and broccoli. It's going to be really, really filling. Broccoli is super filling. This will probably be like Honestly, I think two servings. This will probably be lunch tomorrow on Sunday as well. And then for din dinner, for her lunch, I am just had this turkey sandwich. Be drinking a ton, a ton of water. This will be my second, starting my second one of these for the day. Um, it's 32 ounces. I usually drink around three of these, so definitely I drink a ton, a ton of water. All right, hello. Welcome to the voiceover. I'm just starting with showing you guys my study setup and the playlist that I was listening to when I'm doing Quizlets and things that don't require me to really memorize yet. I like to listen to some music to make the time go by, some kind of study playlist off Spotify. Here I'm just quickly sliding through my notes that I have so far for you guys, showing you what those looked like. You can also see that for the last couple modules, I hadn't finished them yet, so it's just the learning objectives as an outline format, and then as I go through the lecture videos, which you'll see later in this video, I fill those in. Next, I pretty much just started putting all of those learning objectives onto a massive Quizlet. It ended up being around 300 cards, so it was a ton to memorize. Much later we ended up leaving the library and I went home. So I just finished the Quizlet, well mostly, I'm on note card 232. But I still have to watch the videos for modules 14 and 15, which will actually be good for you guys because I can show you how I do that. Um, this is a little preview. I've already written out the learning objectives, like a little outline for module 14, so now I'm gonna watch the videos and fill these things in, because they're the things they want us to know from the lecture videos. And then I wanted to show you guys too, with my notes, how I like highlight what I know I need to go back and study. So I put all the learning objectives on here, right? But certain things are they're either diagrams or they're charts or tables, things we need to be able to gather information from or different diagrams of different processes we have to be able to draw out. So I like mark those in my notes a specific way. That way when I'm scrolling through, when I see this purple star, that means it's something like this that I need to go back and actually look at and make sure I can draw it out. So, some, so I might do that on a whiteboard, which I can show you guys. Like for example, these steps, I'm going to write those out on a whiteboard a few times rather than trying to do them on the Quizlet because that's just not efficient when it's something that has multiple steps and images like this. But yeah, so there's a, quite a few things in here that I'm gonna have to practice drawing out and I'll show you guys when I do get to that. Morning guys, it is Monday. If you couldn't tell from the video, I really didn't get that much studying done over the weekend, but that's really no surprise. But the exam is tomorrow night, Tuesday night at 7, so I still have quite a bit of time in my opinion, and I've been going through my Quizlet a lot. It's not totally done, I still have to add those last two modules like I kept telling you guys, but I'm going to the library today to get those modules done and to finish learning the Quizlet. And then the other things on my agenda is to go through learning objectives one more time and make sure that I didn't miss any on my notes that I copied to the Quizlet and then also those like diagrams and drawing ones, making sure I know those. And then I'm also planning on doing practice exams and 
worksheets from a recitation to kind of test my knowledge. And if there's anything from those I don't get, I'm gonna put them on the Quizlet as well. And I'll show you guys this, but then I like to go through the feature in Quizlet where you have a test you on like the ones you miss the most. So that would be those new added ones plus the ones I frequently miss would be what I would study at the end, probably closer to tomorrow night when I'm gonna be taking the exam. I don't have any classes on Monday, which is another reason I'm not too worried because I knew that the case would be today. The only thing on my agenda is really to study for this exam. I have to do one little assignment for my class tomorrow morning and I need to go to the gym tonight and I need to go to a meeting tonight. But again, I have all of the day time to do stuff. Um, I was telling people that like I'm annoyed that I haven't studied more, but at the same time, when I'm not super motivated to study, I know for me, that means that like I feel like I have a good grasp on the material or I feel confident that I'll be able to know the material by the time the exam is, if that makes any sense. So since I hadn't been super, super stressed working like my maximum speed on studying, like I've been studying all weekend just like so slow and taking all these breaks on my phone and all this stuff. And like if I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know stuff I need to learn, I need to learn, which I have been for other classes like bio and orgo and even immuno in the past, like, when I'm like that, I know that I need to study and I need to get going. But if I don't feel like that, my mind and my body knows that I'm going to be just fine. All I have to do is learn this Quizlet. I'll show you guys how the learn feature works when I get to the library. So, I hope you guys have been finding this video to be helpful, giving you ideas of how you can study. I know I use my iPad, but, like, you could just do the notes on paper, so it's really no different than anything anyone else could do. But... Two non-study study tips to help you guys for exams. First is to pack good food and eat good foods. I'm about to make a nice filling breakfast before I walk to the library. It's like 9.30 in the morning right now and then I'm gonna bring a lunch with me that I can heat up there in the microwave so I don't have to come back or make an excuse that I need to eat lunch so I can't study and I need to go to the library. No, bring your food with you, no excuses. Then the second thing is to like look good, feel good. I'm sure you guys have heard that before, but I put in a cute little outfit just to motivate myself to go out of the apartment and get to the library. Okay, I'm gonna make my breakfast. I'll show you guys what I make and then I'm going to pack my bag and go to the library. So I'm just cooking up two of these chicken sausages. They're only 100 calories for two of them, which is really good and they have a lot of protein. And then I'm going to put egg whites with green pepper, onion, and mushroom. So this is breakfast, a little scramble, and then I just put this type of fake butter stuff on my toast. And then this is what I'm packing for lunch slash snack. So apple, grapes, carrots, cucumbers, and hummus. That's gonna go in here. And then some leftover pasta, and then I'm gonna put some ice packs in my bag too, so none of this goes bad. So we are back at the library again. I'm just showing you guys what the learning objectives look like for this hybrid class and again showing you how I'm going to fill them in. I put the lecture videos on full screen, two times speed with the captions. That helps me figure out what, how to spell different things that they're saying. And I put in my headphones and I go to work filling out the learning objectives as they go through the lectures. Once I finally finished the modules, I started to learn my Quizlet, so I use the learn feature as you can see here. And for the settings for the learn mode, I make sure to turn off the write option because I think that's only really helpful if you're in like a language class, but something like this, I don't need to know how to write or spell anything out. They'll give you the terms a few different ways, first starting with a multiple choice, and then once you get that right, the next time you see the term, it's going to be in just a single flashcard format so if you don't know what's on the back you'll say that you got it wrong and then they're gonna have you study it again and if you got it right you won't see it again so this feature is really nice so the really easy things you can get out of the way quickly and if there's something you struggle with it'll keep coming back and that way you can make sure you learn it so I just went through that for a little bit to make sure that I was learning everything. It definitely took me multiple days to get through this Quizlet. And it pretty much gives you a percentage as you keep going from 0% to knowing it 100%. And one more time here, I'm just showing you guys kind of how I use the lecture slides in combination with the videos and take important graphs and figures and put them into my notes, making sure that I'm being as efficient as possible and saving time when I can instead of redrawing things. 
Hey guys, so my exam is at 7 tonight. It's 4.30 right now. I'm gonna head over there at around 6.30 because I have to find parking and then, you know, get situated and stuff. But I wanted to show you guys the last few things I'm doing today to prep for the exam. I woke up at like 6 a.m. to finish the Quizlet, the learning objectives, because it was like over 250 cards, which is a lot because they aren't just like define sell. Like it's actually like, kind of hard stuff. But so I woke up to make sure I had all those learning objectives done and then before my genetics class, I started the recitation worksheets and I finished those as well as the more recent practice exams before my second class, my physics lab. Then I got back from that around three and I've just been kind of de-stressing honestly. And now I'm gonna get back into studying again until I leave. But um, I'll quickly show you guys the last little bit of stuff I'm studying here, it's for, like I said, the diagram slash short answer, like things you might have to draw, is what I'm doing now. And then I'll also show you guys how I mark up my practice exams and things so that I know like what I need to refresh myself on. Um, I'm just copying and pasting over different things that I need to draw or know how to draw. So like, I'll probably take this microscope. It's really hard to do this like on camera not gonna lie basically anything that is drawing i'm just gonna copy onto this um se separate sheet and then i'm gonna go through pretty much and redraw all of them once or twice on here and what's nice about the ipad is obviously like i could start drawing this whatever finish it and then i can just erase it and start over I used to do this on a whiteboard for my classes because the whiteboard obviously is not wasting paper either. I think that's the way to go if you don't have an iPad. Basically, I put this little symbol by recitation questions if I wasn't sure about them, just to remind myself to look them over. And then similarly on the practice exam, again, I don't want to show too much of the questions just for content sake. I mean, they gave these out. It's not like they're secret, but I just circled answers in red if I had them wrong. That way when I'm reviewing it, I can just quickly look at the ones I actually missed. Hey guys, just popping in, editing the video right now. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this to be helpful. I haven't gotten my grade back for the exam yet, so I can't really tell you how these study habits worked out, but whenever I do, I'll update the description of the video to let you guys know how I did. I think I did decently considering that I definitely didn't put as much hours into this exam as I should have, and I know in future exams I'll study a bit more and I'm sure I'll score higher than I did on this first one. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.